Hey everybody, I am so excited for today's lesson because we're going to be talking about one of my favorite topics, silence. And in this case, what I mean by that is uh, using rests in 6-8, whether it be an eighth rest, a quarter rest, or a dotted quarter rest. We're all going to see these later on. I can't wait. Let's do it. Okay, so the first type of rest we're going to be talking about is the eighth rest and how it works in 6-8. So let's, for example, what if we take these last three eighth notes and turn them into eighth rests? So that's what that looks like. And what would this sound like? Ready, set, go. One, two, three, shh, 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 ta, ta, ta. Okay, so next, what if we wanted to put eighth rests on beats two and five? Well, that would look like this, and it would sound like this. Ready, set, go. One, sh, three, four, sh, six. Ta, 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 ta. Next up, what if we had rests on two, three, and five, six? That would look like this. But you know what? You could also have it look like this, because a quarter rest equals two eighth rests, and you happen to just have two eighth rests right next to each other. Okay? And this would simply sound like this. Ready, set, go. One, sh, sh, four, sh, sh, ta, ta. By the way, what's the difference between having this rhythm and then having this rhythm? Well, it's all about how long you're holding each note for. On the top, they're just eighth notes, and on the bottom, these dotted quarter notes, they get, they're get they held for three beats each, right? So just make sure you know the difference, and then you play them differently, depending on which one you're reading. Okay, here's the next example. This time you have rests, eighth rests on one and two, and four and five. And of course, just like we were just talking about, you can also rewrite those eighth rests like this, using quarter rests you will probably see both ways, so just be ready for both, okay? Uh, what would this sound like? Two, three, ready, set, go. Shh, shh, three, shh, shh, six, three, six. Here's yet another example. This time the eighth rests are on beats two, four, and six. And this is going to sound like this. Ready, set, go. One, three, five. Ta, sh, ta, sh, ta, sh. Okay, and the last little example I have for you is with three eighth rests all in a row on beats four, five, and six. However, you can also rewrite this like this with a dotted quarter rest. Uh, because think of it this way, um, a dotted quarter rest equals three eighth rests. Uh, so more often than not, you're going to see um, that amount of rests all in a row um, being shown as a dotted quarter rest, okay? And you probably already can figure out what this sounds like, but just in case, here we go. Two, three, ready, set, go. One, two, three, shh, 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 ta, ta, ta. All right, and that's a dotted quarter rest. Okay, and the final slide. Here's an example of all the types of rests and all the type of positions we were talking about all together. So here we go. Ready, set, go. One, three, four, five, six. Three, five, six. Four, five. Two, three, four. Okay, a lot of space in there. Maybe I'll do it one more time with, the, with me saying shh on the rest. Two, three, ready, set, go. One, sh, three, four, five, six, sh, sh, three, sh, five, six, sh, 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 four, five, sh, sh, two, three, four, sh, sh. Okay, hopefully that cleared it up. Uh, listen to that again. Make sure you got it completely down as far as how much you understand it. Good luck with the worksheet. And yeah, we'll see you guys next lesson.